Servus. I really don't know why I'm doing this. I've been saying that a lot, haven't I? Really do not know. Since we are playing something so handicapped, there's obviously only one nation that makes sense to be played. And that is... France. France. How did you eat those words? Okay, that's a problem. I wanted to be like, yeah, okay, UK or France. And then, you know, because France is stupid and the UK, they are British. But I also just thought of something else. That's not gonna be fun, but I have to do it. This is the most handicapped nation if I'm not including old history focuses. Oh wait, uh, but I'm gonna do one thing. I do feel like a little bit of chaos today. And of course we are going to, not iron mode, we are going to turn iron mode off. And there we go. Historical focus is off, iron mode off. Spain with only a controller. And a silent ass. Okay, first I have to learn what can I actually do. V-pad is camera, X is right click. And A is, of course, left click. B is Diplo. That's weird. Why is B bound to Diplo? Oh, select this. Ugh! Select this, uh, the time thing. You mean unpause? I do not have access to any of those buttons. This is just gonna be a very basic Hearts of Iron 4 experience with just longer. Which path are we gonna pick? Let's take the right. I mean the left, which is on the right. Unlocks Focus? What does it mean? That's interesting. I mean, I like it. I was confused why only Spain has it, but yeah, only Spain has this clusterfuck. So makes sense that only Spain has this mechanic where a random focus unlocks another focus on the other side of the tree. I never knew. I never knew that they added special symbols for the Spanish. We're gonna go for those guys. I'm for a great Spain. How am I supposed to shift click? No. If I ever drop additional divisions, managing divisions is gonna be a pain. What? Build guns, I guess. And dump a few on convoy. Con convoy. Convoy. Fuck's sake, I, I'm gonna chuck my controller at the end of this. Okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. You're just playing Spain. An oxymoron is a figure of speech that juxtaposes. Fuck, fuck, that's fuck. There we go. No, it's... Okay. Time to do it all again. If anything goes wrong in this game, I know it's because the game crashed and now the historical focuses are scrambled. Foreshadowing is a narrative device in which a storyteller gives an advanced hint of what is to come later in the story. Foreshadowing often appears at the beginning of a story and it helps develop or subvert the audience's expectations about upcoming events. Yeah, it's probably the sus Luxembourg mod that's crashing things. I don't think I really should worry about any of that. Oh god, I can't, I can't shift click. I can't shift click to exercise. Okay, we take the campaign chests and now we wait for something to appear in this list. Only from the ashes of the Second Republic can Spain be reforged. Garrison control to total in Galicia, Lyon. Let me just make a screenshot, honestly. I don't have that much brain. I need an area map mode. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> if I at least had escape bound. I'm gonna try and get the upper where the anarchists spawn usually. Okay, we have Germany. No, that's not monarchist. That flag is... Oh, it is monarchist. Yugoslavia recognizes the Soviet Union. Is it the, uh, the communist path for Yugo? If so, that's interesting. Oh, but that's still a very nice pocket that we have up here. And now I can't do anything? That's... Weird. God, fatherland and king, we will win. Remove unplanned offense. Wait, what? We just remove unplanned offensive. Ugh, disjointed cards juntas. That's pretty bad. I don't want that anymore. I think I'm gonna go down here first. And then we get the jefe. Instead of this guy, which is worse. Uh, this is gonna suck now. This is gonna suck so much. Cock. Can I split them up here? Beautiful. Thank you very much, Paradox. Oh, oh, <laughs> I hate this. Now I have two front lines, but I, I can't be bothered. Honestly, I'm gonna take one. We're not gonna keep him, but he's still so good. He was five attack. I'm never gonna set up an air force, honestly. Like the worst thing is just that you can't be as precise. Like moving from the bottom to the top is so slow. And then if you have to click certain buttons, you just ha don't have the precision. I can't shift click the Navy. <laughs> Stack it up. Ah. 
worst thing is stuff like this i can't really micro and we're gonna push up here a little bit just take as much land as we can before the front lines stabilize for real for real and the south we can just hold for now i don't have divisions here oh no i don't i seriously don't have divisions here oh why did everyone go there that sucks that sucks that sucks i just need a shift button honestly oh i can do this I'm learning new things about the Hearts of Iron UI. Yes, Italy still exists. Germany does not. But at least I can rely on Italy. I think I'd rather be on my own. Thank you very much. We can close up one of those fronts. Which means there's only three left. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Nah, baby. Otto assumes the Hungarian crown. You also went monarchist? We legitimately have central powers. What are you doing? I guess you can try and take Barcelona. German Reich is gone. Now it's just German poor. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can probably continue pushing. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. All encircled now. Oh, yes. This is looking so good. And you just try and break this guy out, I guess. The anarchists are gone. Are here. Okay, I need a break. Seriously. I'm gonna get RSI from this. It's so exhausting. Where am I gonna attack though? Am I gonna attack? But we do have a lot of monarchists in this run. Mexican junta. But that sounds just... Oh, Jesus. Uh, what are you doing with me, son? It's shedding season again. It just never stops. Half of this hair that he just shed is still on him. And I've been doing that like five times. He's getting into either play with me or stop it mode. But you can stay here, please. Good boy. Oh no, I, I moved my mouse. That's I just, just put it over there. I don't want to be tempted today. I am strong. I don't want to relapse. To crusade against democracy. Okay, we've got Austria hungry now. Or hungry Austria. Oh wait, I... Right. I added enter, I can now, I don't have to scroll that much anymore. Just have to get it into my head. Oh, uh, that doesn't seem right. There's enemies everywhere around us. Guess we can go down here. We can go down here. Here. Okay, that, that's just mean. There's two divisions. What am I supposed to do them, with them? They don't have supply, they don't have anything. Oh, I fucking hate this. It's just so annoying to make front lines like that. Oh my god. I don't have tab bound. If I ever need to make more than one front line on the same front, this is just gonna suck. I don't think I wanna touch planes. Oh god, the designers are gonna be so cringe. Where are all those fascists coming from? These boys are grouped up. This boy is encircled. Honestly, the front is relatively chill, if I'm being very honestly honest. Spanish directory is almost gone. We might be able to take them out if we take La Coruña. No, Erhard is gone. Okay, we cannot take La Coruña. You boy, get pinned for a minute. There we go. That boy is dead. Ah, the Italians are on their side. That is cringe. We were friends, Italy. Until I declared war on your friend. That I was. And that I kinda am. But I suppose it's gonna be a very monarchist game, yeah. There's no one in La Coruña. I love when the AI is stupid. China declared one to Guangxi, okay. So they're going early. No China. No, no China policy. <laughs> the no China policy. Okay. Falange defeated. Hey, if Germany would like to send or Japan. I'm I'm a monarchist. We're all we're all good guys here. For the democracy, I mean the um the Christ Christians. We're Christians, right? Okay, the crusade against democracy is kinda cool. I mean the focus on Hearts of Iron, nothing else. Hail democracy! Like you just get so what the fuck, you just get 5% recruitable pop for nothing. Uh what is this? You're on my land! Ah, okay, they are exiled, it looks like, because they just sent everyone out. I can live with that. Oh, that's a nice front line, I like to see that. The way it just stops. Makes sense that the Falanges capitulated to the Republicans because the Republicans dealt the most damage. They have the most war score. Because we fought the uh, longest. And then with the Carlists, I just took everything we have. This is so glitchy. We're just fighting each in each other's territory. We could try and encircle, but I'm just gonna try and get some land here. Oh god, I just realized I need to call this stuff back. Oh, because we're Spain. And Paradox said that's fun, so now we have to do it. I wanna push here, because nobody is here, it's so easy to take land. But it's also, the more I push, the more stretched I'm gonna be. I might have scraped up too much brain. That explains something. 
It's so annoying. It's so frustrating. There we go, I got it. I just want to encircle this one unit, man. Thank you very much. Oh, we can take Cordoba. That's such a thin front line here. But it's also so good if we can just pull it off. Huh? They are going down non appeasement Interesting. What does it mean? I don't care, we're attacking. Oh, ah, just, yeah. Let's just walk around. We're in no rush, we can just play logically. No longer attacking over river. We're slowly whittling them down. I really didn't expect this front to be so useful. Simply because we don't have the manpower. Uh, you just chill here. And now this guy just encircled himself. Yeah, I mean, just look at this front line. It's slowly collapsing. They have so many troops in the north. It's amazing. Carl is intellectual. Daily compliance gain and PP gain. Wow. Uh, that's a bit risky now, but if we can take those three boys out. Yeah, there we go. No China policy. Ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. Oh god, very bad. Plus 35% PP gain. That's so insane. Third dimension of warfare. Yeah, I guess we're gonna get fighters later on. Yo, if I had a mouse, we could just cheese so hard. Get it, yeah. it's a pop. But I can't be bothered to micro too much. Like, straight up, it's... It's just... <sighs> It's hard on my thumb to just make these small movements for the buttons. Come on. Yes, we freed them. Okay, let's take Madrid. And we can also encircle all of these divisions. Doubly insane because there's Soviet divisions. I'm a little bit scared that just everything is gonna break now. The uh, anarchists are also doing a little bit here. As soon as the Republicans fall, I think I can finally relax my thumbs. Nobody is in Madrid. They could just retake it. Soviet Union declared war on the Soviet Union. Okay. That's something I was a little bit afraid of. The main problem with the Zur is just that they don't know how to finish the civil war. Like they're just gonna stick around in the penis province here. Nothing is gonna happen the entire game until Germany declares on the Soviets. If Hartz II was designed a little bit differently with controllers and put in mind, then I can imagine this feeling very nice because like the main gameplay loop is kind of cool. Like this is is nice you have enter and such bound perfectly the big problem is just you need a mouse it's a bit of a bummer that you can't go to the menus properly and also precision movements like the army commands they are a bit of a pain to maneuver too some tap system where you press x to get into the army command menu then you tap with l and r between the icons would be very nice granted there's no reason why they should make this financially there's no incentive and it's a huge rework from a code perspective but it could make the game more accessible for people who can't use a keyboard and mouse. I got the idea because of the Steam Deck. There is a preset where you just have this. Like you, you have this, you press some button and then a menu pops up, like a wheel. That's so cool. But the other boys are gone, which means only the anarchists are left. Are they left? I, I suppose they are, yeah. They are. Like to see that. Nobody in Huesca, nobody in Zaragoza. Just gonna make the civil war easier if they just don't resist. They are being liberated after all. Okay, uh, I think that was... Yeah. Uh, they really just didn't resist. Okay, what can we... What? what? changed communist Yugoslavia, Lithuania, Poland, which I think usually just ends up in Poland annexing Lithuania because Lithuania never knows how to properly form the Commonwealth. Pseudo-historical UK with no more appeasement against... Democratic Germany... Whereas France is just... They're just playing historical it seems like. Then the Soviet Civil War, that's never gonna end. Austria-Hungary, and no China policy, obviously. What about the US? Are you doing something? Yes, they went ahistorical with Altland. What about the Junta? Okay, there was just a base civil war because Mexico is too stupid to manage their stuff. This game only has Democrats and unaligned. So the question is, do I get the research slot? I mean, free research slots suck. I think I'm gonna go a local industrialization just to get our economy rolling a little bit so we don't have anything. There we go, Lithuania is just gone. Whoa, wait a minute, what just happened? How just happened? The Zur made it! Communist Greece. Okay. I was 
I was looking forward to this, you know? We have Communist Greece, we have Communist Hugo, we have the Zur. They could have formed the common turn, the international, or the, probably the fourth international it's called. Together they could have done something against the democratic bloc in Europe. Instead, Yugoslavia submits to Italy. There we go. We utilize the Rick and Morty fans. Now we can settle the su 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 suggestion crisis. Okay, that screws my plans up. Iran and the Netherlands? They really just went interventionist. Preemptive strikes and all. But I do get war goals on the Benelux and France. And if France is gonna stay democratic, the UK is gonna grab everything that I can get. Let's develop MGs and small airframes before we even know what, a en what an engine is. Oh, it's not really required, you know, if we have those metal birds, we don't need to know how we can use them. That's some Orc 40k logic. We just imagine that it works and then it works. I don't know if it's the portrait mod, but this guy, I don't want him near me at night. Demand Lithuania. I think it's too late for that. Paradox every single fucking time. They just never know what to do. Let's just annex South, Afri South Africa, yeah. South America. Influence them. It's interesting that the UK has been the most aggressive country so far. I think I'm gonna go for the monarchy just so we can pour our stuff back. That's a huge fucking bumblebee. It just looked like a rock was flying at my window. There's a thing that's like that huge. Don't have a banana for scale, but you can imagine how huge it is. We can take a look here. 10 army XP, man. No, no, no! I don't know. I seriously don't know who's gonna be my friend here. Like Sweden. Sweden is the only one that's not going to declare war on me. No, they might, they might join the EU. Fuck. Oh, the US joined the Allies. Which means if the UK ever declares war on anybody, the US will join them. But the UK is not going to declare war on anybody. And climate change will never become a problem. There we go. The Soviet bloc is getting threatened by Japan now. No, oh, I don't have stockpiled infantry equipment anymore. I guess I can stop this. That way I should have stockpiled equipment. Yes, I have enough. Okay, Greece declared war on Italy. I think that's gonna be a mistake. They already have Yugo and Albania. They will probably just get Greece for free, I think. And the Soviets are just gonna get dunked on by Japan and they are gonna declare war on Poland. They declare war on Poland? Yep. So long as they don't join the Allies, I can probably also just order this. Just so I can prevent myself from getting RSI. We we're expanding. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, hold up. Just wait just a minute. Why did they just declare war on me? Why is there no notification for this? I don't want Portugal to join the allies. So I need to just straight up push as much as I can. So, uh, can you win Hearts of Iron 4 by only playing with a controller? Nope, not even close. Because you disable historical AI focuses and then the AI just starts doing weird shit. We go, we retook Gibraltar and we kicked the Yukes out of uh, Spain. When did I kill 130k Americans? No, no! Germany's just steam powered in this game. Gave the Benelux, the Nordics, Austria Hungary, Poland with. Wait, did they. Why did they release Lithuania? And then they also have Japan. France is still just sitting here and reforming the labor laws. They only did two focuses in their political path up to this point. Yeah, but I think... Yep, now they they are locked into democratic. They can either join UK or they could form a third democratic bloc. I think it's about time you form a new government. It's 1941. The only player that, uh, that can do something is France. And if they don't, then half the world is gonna be democratic. With this, they will still be democratic, but then I can at least take France. So. Yeah, I can't really. Don't do this. 